Steelers Nation, gather round because the latest updates from the Steel City are serving up a mixed bag of highs and hurdles. I've got the inside scoop that's going to keep you on the edge of your seat. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, hit that like button because trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this. First up on the roster, a mix of good and not so good updates straight from the practice field. Stick around for a snippet that might just change the game in the upcoming matchup. The Pittsburgh Steelers had some good and not so good news on Wednesday. Safety Trenton Thompson returned to practice in full capacity, providing a boost to the team's safety depth. On the flip side, Minka Fitzpatrick missed his second consecutive day due to a knee injury. Coach Mike Tomlin remains hopeful that Fitzpatrick might participate in practice later this week, considering he didn't practice last week. Running back Najee Harris, knee, and left guard Isaac Sumalo, shoulder, made their return to practice. Sumalo practiced fully, while Harris participated at a limited capacity. Both players are dealing with lingering injuries but have been playing through them. Quarterback Kenny Pickett, nursing an ankle injury, had limited participation once again. Expressing his desire to play on Sunday against Seattle, Pickett acknowledged that the decision is not solely up to him. Linebacker Ellendon Roberts stayed sidelined, but he remains optimistic about his availability for the rest of the season. There's no update on the status of strong safety Keanu Neal, who has been eligible to return from the injured reserve list for the past two weeks. He has yet to resume practice due to a rib injury, and his return window has not opened. And as we pivot to our second story, we've got a comeback tale that's turning heads. From retirement ventures to making a mark on the defensive line, it's a story you won't want to overlook. Between retiring in August and re-signing with the Steelers on November 20th, Miles Jack kept himself busy with various pursuits. The 28-year-old had ventured into business, acquiring a majority stake in the ECHL's Allen Americans. Additionally, he embarked on obtaining his pilot's license, showcasing his commitment to enjoying retired life. Despite progressing far in his pilot training, the Steelers reached out and Jack returned to reinforce the linebacker group. Now, with Ellendon Roberts sidelined for the upcoming game against the Seahawks, Jack is poised to play a crucial role. The Steelers, as coach Mike Tomlin described, have faced challenges in the linebacker department, making Jack's contribution vital. We went into Saturday with different plans and then E went down, so he had to play more snaps than we thought he would, explained defensive coordinator Terrell Austin. While Jack's practice time was limited, his familiarity with the team from the previous year contributed to his commendable performance against the Bengals. Jack's adaptability within the defense was evident as he helped limit the Bengals to 11 points and contributed to three takeaways. Patrick Peterson praised Jack's seamless integration, emphasizing his understanding of communication and defensive strategies. Despite the positive reception, Jack acknowledged areas for improvement, aiming to elevate his performance in the upcoming game. The Steelers' defense will rely on his experience and skill as they navigate the challenges ahead. After Saturday's game, Jack outlined the plan devised by the Steelers to reintegrate him into football shape, highlighting the distinction between general fitness and the specific demands of the sport. His return to the field, marked by six tackles, one for loss, and two quarterback hits, indicated a successful transition back to the rigors of professional football. Facing the Seahawks, whose rushing statistics rank among the lower tier in the league, the Steelers will look to capitalize on their defensive strengths. Jack's role becomes crucial in maintaining the team's postseason aspirations, adding another layer to his unexpected return to the gridiron. And that's the Steelers' lowdown for today, folks. If you're loving the updates, drop a like, subscribe for more Steel City insights, and until next time, keep that black and gold spirit alive.